What's up FishTube? Okay, so today's video is going to be an unboxing video. I ordered some cherry shrimp from Flip Aquatics. Um, if you haven't checked out my last video, I would go check that out. It's uh, Aquashella and uh, FishTube are teaming up and doing a charity event. So I would go check that out. I mean, it's for a good cause. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this video. What's up guys? Alright, so this is where the cherry shrimp are going to stay in the 40 gallon tub that I got from Home Depot. I have a sponge filter, some guppy grass, um, some other plants I can't name because I forgot the name. <laughs> I have some guppies in there. I have a giant moss ball that I got from a local store and I have some assassin snails. And that's just a little tour of where the shrimp are going to stay. So I guess let's get to this unboxing. All right, so whenever it comes to Flip Aquatic, they're 110% on their packaging. You have a heater pack. I mean, you have insulation after insulation, and that's what I like. Lately, it's been really cold where I'm at. And I'm not even worried. I mean, the heater pack was still hot. It was warm. And then you, I mean, you even have insulation surrounding insulation. So, <laughs> bear with me. This is hard to do just with one. And I need to get better equipment. But uh, let me speed this up. So. Maybe this might go a little faster. Now, keep in mind, I did open this and already counted and made sure everything was okay and they are alive. Now, I am very satisfied with this. I mean, from visiting stores, I mean, that shrimp that have already been acclimated and sitting in a tank, they're actually not that red. And these are red. I mean, they've been through stress and everything because of you know the travel they had to do and they are still I mean look at the color on them and then you have some with eggs and that's gonna help me a lot I believe that when it comes from flip aquatics I mean it's just they're just a hundred percent on what they do so again I am very satisfied with this I think and yeah like I said all of them were live so let me speed this up a little bit try to get to the second one gotta use my strong hand <laughs> already and I believe in this one is where all the eggs are but I mean all of them were live and they're really active and that's actually a good sign and again look how red they are I mean you can't get this quality anywhere else already so I do believe this is the one with all the eggs and actually look right here you see that yellow those are actually eggs and that is what I am looking for because this is that's what's gonna help me when it comes to breeding it is time for the acclimation process so what you'll need is an air hose a rubber band and a container which I just cut a bottle or a gallon a bottle a gallon of purified water I do it like this I think it's the easiest for me um, then you'll, I poke a little hole and put the tubing in and that helps keep it as it drips. Usually what I'll do is I'll fill half of the water that the they come with and then I start dripping the water wherever I'm going to put them at. And it usually takes about, I usually let them sit there about, I want to say about four hours. And so again, all you'll do is just dip the water, or well dip the air hose into the water and tie the rubber band 
around the air hose so that way it goes into it and it helps control it. Already acclimation, here we come for the one can. Already. So we got our little tube, we got a little rubber band that we talked about going into the water. Getting that acclimation process on. And look what we have here. Look at the color of those shrimp. Oh man. I mean, I pretty much paid 60 bucks for 20 shrimp. That's including shipping, and I am very satisfied. And then again, this is how, when you're acclimating, that's how slow you want it to drip. And all the acclimation process does is just it helps the shrimp acclimate towards the water. Like, it, it helps it, you know gets it comfortable I guess you can say oh and then let me tell you this so I actually had a little trouble one of the shrimps I guess hatched eggs or something and I have all these little babies let me see if I can find one so whenever I was getting them and I was pouring them out of the bag I legit had to like make sure that I didn't live leave any babies behind no shrimp left behind <laughs> so Look at look, look how little that thing is compared to the other shrimp. Look at him, so tiny, such a little guy. It's actually pretty cool. Look at you, you have some deep red in some of them, but I mean, they're still acclimating. They haven't even been in the tank yet, and they're already red. So I can just only imagine after they get comfortable in the tank and how much they'll color up so I'm excited to see that good deal good deal on that but already it's time to dump them in for the one time so this is why I find it easy to do to this is why I cut it out like this all you gotta do is unscrew the lid and they'll fall right in the water. I find it that it puts less stress on the shrimp since they're already in the water than getting the bag and just dumping them in there. And this usually works for me, so. Again, submerge it, make sure all of them are really good. Make sure you got all the babies and everything. And voila! Not much to it. And hopefully they like it. And then you still got you still got some on this. I'm not sure what this is. But we'll go ahead and take that out. Little guy don't want to come off. There you go. Come on. There you go. Already. But I have a good feeling about this. Hopefully they colonize in there. They start breeding. All right, so they're in the tank and everything. Look how red these cherries are. I mean, I've seen some in stores and they're not even like red. Look at the color on this. And that's because they just like have been in the tank I want to say about probably like four hours that's it and they're this red and you have all more all over here and they're all healthy 
So I have a total of 22. I ordered 20, but Flip Aquatics sent me two extra. Look at this. And that's that's good quality right there. I mean like I said I've seen I've seen some cherries at fish stores and I mean they have they don't even look like this. I mean right off the bat. They're real clear. They look like, like this fish. That's how clear the cherries are in the other stores compared to this. And that's why I go to Flip Aquatics. I mean Flip Aquatics, I mean they're I mean they they um you know enjoying what they do and I mean they're the best and I mean that's just my opinion and I'm I mean he's not sponsoring me this to say any of this or anything but I mean I mean just look at the quality I mean what you pay for is what you get so Here. So hopefully you guys liked the video. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe down below. Give me a thumbs up. Like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Until next time.